I've got this scratch body and they want it to be transparent ocean turquoise top over this silver sparkle. I can feel some grit on here. I don't like that. I don't know why. Maybe there's a clear on here. I don't know what's on here. But I need to get rid of that grit. So I'll just run this sandpaper over here real quick. Everything real quick, real quick. Something everybody says. Hey, blah, 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 real quick. Okay. Here, now it feels smooth and nice. So when I spray on it, you're not going to get little contamination of the things. Okay, so I've already poured some lacquer into a cup. And I poured some green into it. Organic green candy. Look, that's all we got. Green, organic green candy, organic green candy and lacquer. Now obviously that's way too green. So let me add some blue. So here's how much blue I'm going to add. Not much. Now let's see what we've got. Kind of hard to tell, right? That stick already had so much green on it. If I drop it on the table, it's closer. Not quite as green, but let's compare it to this ocean turquoise. See how much bluer that is. Okay, a little bit more blue then. Put that here. Add some more whiskey. This is just clear lacquer. I'm trying to adjust the focus on this thing. Blue lacquer and candy colors. Okay. Stir it up a bit. That's compared to what we had. <coughs> Definitely bluer, right? Can you see that? Now, is it? Uh, it's hard to tell when you have it on the stick because the stick is yellow. So what you got to do is get something silver. Oh, here's something. A little strong. But if I smear it with my finger and I compare that with my ocean turquoise, I say it still needs to be bluer. Don't you think? I do. I can't get the focus to do what I want. Anyway, I'm going to add more blue, right? More blue. But in the meantime, I'll wash this off. So the next time, how do I get this camera to point the way I want it to point? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. So far it has not been an easy thing. Anyway, add more blue right now. Mm, that much. Okay, that's the third time I've had blue. So, it's probably 50-50 with the blue and the green. Now, I'm not sure if the blue candy and the green candy have the same strength. Doesn't matter. You just keep mixing until you get there. Okay. Now, just for fun, let's pour it next to what we had. Third, look at look at the graduation there. Okay. Now I'll dip my little silver stick into the thing. I use a silver stick because this is silver, and it's going to closer approximate what I'm dealing with over here. Now let's compare that to ocean turquoise. Oh, look, huh? I'm, th I'm thinking that's there. Oh yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of that for now. Put, a, put the lid on my thing. And my little shimmer. Probably tuck that into my phone somewhere when I start spraying because it's never going to aim the right way. Sorry. Sorry for the craziness on the screen here. Okay, 
get a lift. So now I need my transparent gun. I have a few I could use, but one I favor. These guns I used to hate, I still don't like them. See? But they have a small tip and they atomize nice, so I rebuilt this one. It's working a little better, but it's still kind of wonky. There's something broken inside of it. I tried to super glue it together, this little plastic piece that was in there. This is what I mean. Like my eyes, when I'm looking at my gun right now, don't show what I'm showing. That's why I gotta shim it so you can see what I can see, but in nah. Here's the new color I just made. Get a cap over here, the cap fill. Now I need a, a lid, a lid lid. I thought I had one. I'll take this one. So it can connect to my gun. Like this. Okay, I got the stuff in there. Now, I got my ocean turquoise with me. I'll have to compare what I spray on there to that because you got to put the right amount to get the right darkness. Now what I'll do, I'm going to have to shim this because it's going to aim the wrong way. But anyway, first I'll put some clear lacquer on this red thing. That'll help me better. Hang it up here. Okay, now let me add my Shimmerman. Where did that thing go? Here it is. I'm not sure if any of this is gonna work. Okay, so I'm looking at the guitar. And now, you're looking at the guitar. Uh, I don't know if the focus is right. I don't think it is. Is it? If it's not right, I'm sorry. I'll just, you'll never, no one will ever see this video. Okay. Oh yeah, did I put clear on there yet? No, I did not. Okay, my focus side was the only thing either. Okay, clear. Why put clear? Uh, you know, when you have something that's been cleared and then you sand it, it's just sort of uh, milky looking. And, uh, I don't know, I don't like it. It would be deceptive. I can get a better more accurate reading of what I'm doing when I got clear on there. What you saw, that's reduced clear, so it's hardly any, just enough to give it a little sheen. Now, let me get my candy color in here. Right here. Now, when you do these, this particular model, most gretches, you gotta make sure you get some paint down in there, because, uh, They taped it, but some tape is kind of hanging over. So let's start with shooting some color right down in there first. And then I can start to see if I'm how it's looking. It can look bluer than what I have, huh? Doesn't it? Maybe I need to add more blue before I get going with this. I have a flashlight, so I do, but I think it's not working. It's got batteries or something. Bad connection. Sorry, you're all having to deal with this, but this is my life. This is all this stuff that doesn't go on a video. I know this thing works, but there's, anyway, it's so. <laughs> This thing. I'm going to use the other phone. How many phones do you got? Uh, uh, you know, never mind. Never mind that. Hmm. Flashlight, look. Okay. Is that blue? Is it? It used to be bluer. Okay, see, this is the thing about painting. You just do it and you stop and you adjust. The biggest thing about painting is watching it go on. Stopping. Just don't just go for it. I mean, there's a time for that, but 
I'm going to add a bit more of this blue. I'll put it in my cap so I can control it better. It's just that much. And I could stir it up, but instead I'm just going to shake it up. Okay, shake, shake, shake. See, when you're not sure if your color's right, especially on a transparent type color, start spraying in a place like here that's not quite as obvious if it's off, you know? Or if you're dealing with Strat or a Tele, you can start spraying under the pick guard. That way, if your color's not right, eh, it's going to get covered anyway. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm just hoping it's right. But if it's not, let's say I put, start putting it on here and I feel like, dang, it's still too green. I can just put a, a coat of just blue over it, makes it another batch of candy that is just mostly blue, if not only blue. Oh, my camera wasn't aiming in the right direction again. Got to get that corner, it's always so difficult. Well, it is for me anyway. Can you see how it's kind of light in there? So I got a fairly full material like this. See how much of that, and then just put it in there. Put it right thinking in there. But it still doesn't want to go in there. What if I spray this? All right, never mind that. Okay, hi. Right. Ah, it's so hard to get this thing to aim in the right direction. Somebody gave me a GoPro, a couple of them. I've yet to use them. And uh, I have no great reason for that. There's something there, but I can't tell what I'm looking at. Still feels tacky. Yeah, I can feel it. There's a black something. So, oops. Put this here, get my magic sandpaper, blow air, kind of air. Okay, now, where'd that go? Right here. Blow air, sandpaper, light. Light. While you're blowing the air. Think air hockey. You know how air hockey, that little puck just floats on the thing like that? Air is acting like a buffer, and whatever dust I generate from sanding just gets blown away. God, what was that? It's really screwed up my whole program. Looking out of the top part of my glasses. Okay. Kind of see it now, but if I keep sanding this particular area, I'm going to get a spot where there's no paint and then it's going to look stupid. I can still feel it. It's a bit of lump of crap that came out of my gun or something. Maybe it was when I cleared it. I can feel it. Don't just sand right here only. But that would end up where just kind of do the whole area and take the whole area slightly down. Rather than just having one little shiny spot, just kind of even it out. That's, that's acceptable there, right? It feels pretty over here. Just kind of go over the whole thing. Just cause. I can't get my tack rag, wipe it. People have a lot of questions about these things. I thought they were common, but I guess some people don't use them. It's just a sticky rag. 
collects all the spray and dust or whatever might be on there. Put some more lacquer. Make sure the tip of my lacquer gun doesn't have a booger that wants to come out and make another little problem. Can you see that area that I sanded? Barely, right there. It does look pretty blue, huh? I know it's not quite dark enough yet, but no, I mean, I think that's, well, from, from what I'm seeing, it's right, but when I see the camera, it looks totally different, but in real life, where I'm at, it's all good, so, I'll get my, uh, candy gun and continue. Now, I will back up, spray from farther away, and kind of mist it on there, fog it on there, that area where I sanded, We're gonna shin this thing. It's never point right stick away. How about that? No, no. Okay, GoPro person. Screw this thing, man. It's really irritating the living car out of me. Let me tape everything down one more time. Okay. Now, although it won't look the same to you, to me it will. The darkness and the blueness and the greenness and gosh, I'm beating the car out of this thing. Okay, it does look very similar to in real life. Of course, when I look at the screen, I can see that the, the, this looks a lot darker, but it's, it's actually not. I'll put one more hit on here. Like that call it a day. So there you have it. Oh wait a minute, they wanted this to be black. Look, head cap black. Alright, watch. Got my black gun. Now this might be obvious, but just see, I sprayed up there. Now I'm going to spray down here and I'm pointing down. I don't want my overspray to get up where that other area I just painted. So I'm spraying with my gun pointing down. But wait a minute, you gotta get up there. Okay, watch. So this paint's going down this way, away, away from the top. Okay, black head cap, ocean turquoise thingy. Bye.